At the end of 2019, a global pandemic hit the world. It changed how we traveled, how we behaved, and how we interacted. Young and old had to adapt to this new normal. Like so many schools across this country, Muskegon Heights High School Academy was forced to close down the 2019-2020 school year early due to COVID-19. This graduation class of 2020 Vow to meet this challenge head on. Good evening and welcome. On behalf of the Board of Education, faculty, administration, and staff, I would like to welcome everyone to this historical Muskegon Heights Academy Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. I am very proud to share this moment with all of our senior graduates, and I would like to extend a special welcome to the dedicated parents, families, and staff who have supported our seniors every step of the way during their four-year journey at Muskegon Heights Academy. Welcome to all, and again, congratulations to our seniors. I want to just take this opportunity to share my thoughts and my experience being principal of Muskegon Heights Academy. Uh, this is my second year as principal of Muskegon Heights Academy. Uh, prior to becoming principal, I was a dean in this district for about five years. And uh, ever since arriving to this district, I have found it to be a very prideful district and it was exciting to be able to come into a community where there was so rich heritage. There was such rich uh, pride within this community and to be a Muskegon Heights Tiger. I recall back when I was going to school, not here at Muskegon Heights, but uh, the rivalries that Muskegon Heights shared with other uh, schools. And those were some of the wonderful days that uh, people still talk about to this day and time. My experience since I've been here has been very, very rewarding. I have met a number of outstanding students, uh, an array of parents and community that certainly uh, uh, echo that Tiger pride. I am very pleased to stand before you and tell you what it means to me to be able to uh, meet with my students and my staff on a day-to-day -day basis, making sure that they are receiving the right uh, levels of support, uh, whether it be academics, whether it be just general support altogether, just making sure that they re receive everything that they need to be successful because they deserve it. Uh, we are a very unique district in a very unique uh, way because we believe that we're not going to be uh, uprooted by anything and we're going to fight for what it means to be a true tiger and we have demonstrated that and we do it on a day-to-day -day basis here I believe in one sound and when I what I mean by one sound is that we we, we, sh we are an, a consistent uh, institution where we're making sure that we're meeting the needs of our students on a day-to-day -day basis so whatever those means might be we are going after it We've got a outstanding administration team here uh, that supports our students and families as well. Uh, we have an array of support within our school. We've got partners within our district, both uh, external and ex internal, um, that support what we're trying to do when we look at things such as our mission statement and our vision. And I am just truly, truly uh, thankful for this opportunity uh, and I've enjoyed it thus far and I'm looking forward for the next years as well to do the same, continue to grow, continue to be 
uh, all that we can be because I know that we can be all that we can be. And I'm very proud of that. And I just want to say thank you to the community. Thank you to the students and parents who have allowed me to come before your, your students and to be able to be a leader in this district at this level of education. Thank you. Can we please stand for the playing of the national anthem? Hello, I'm Tyrone Hardman. Hi Tyrone, can you tell me your future plans after you graduate from Muskegon Heights? My future plans are to go to Baker College to major in multiple different culinary professions and to go there for hacking. Okay. Can you tell me Tyrone, what has been your most challenging or difficult situation uh, in your life in school? When I was a child, I was pressed by bullying a lot, but when I moved to Muskegon Heights, I felt comfort amongst, among the misunderstood people here. Uh, how will you make Muskegon Heights proud of you? I will do my best to stand out in the public eye in all of my activities, so everybody that can know that a Muskegon Heights Tiger can be high up there. What is your favorite high school memory? I hate to say that this is my favorite, but, um, when all my friends were like laying in a group pile and then somebody just jumped over. It was kind of funny to me. They jumped on top of them and it was like chaotic, but I found it entertaining and funny. Good. Okay. Uh, out of all the subjects and all the teachers uh, at Muskegon Heights High School, can you tell me something about them? The three ones that I want to acknowledge most, there are honorable, honorable mentions. But the three ones I would say, the first one is Mr. Warsaw. He's been here longer than probably anybody. Um, he's so persistent with the students and it's hard to fail in his class unless you're, unless if you're trying not to pay attention. Um, the other one is Madam Lee. She's been incorporating herself with a bunch of different activities for the students, NHS, um, French Club, and helping out with even some of the funding for um, events in the school and she's been stressing herself a lot for the students and I know she cares about us a lot and I appreciate her so much for that. And the next one is also Miss Johnson. She stresses herself a lot as well. She did coronation for us, organized that, so we could actually have it this year because originally they didn't really plan to have it. They didn't have a director. 
and she's been doing a bunch of other stuff to help out with the activities around this school, and it's just a wonderful thing to see her helping her out. So tell me something about the coordination. What makes you so um, <laughs> memorable about that? What makes that so memorable to you? As a child, I always think I was going to be the runt. Like, honestly, there was no chance for me at all. Like, I said I was bullied before I moved here, but once I moved here, I started, like, mending in with the people here and being understood and seen as somebody that is myself and some, not something that I wanted to be. And a lot of people accepted that, and I was just voted in. And I was king, and I was proud. <laughs> I'm Tyrone Hardman, and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights High School Academy. Hello. Hello. Can you please tell me your full name? Victoria Ann Todd. Hi, Victoria. After graduation, can you please tell me what are your plans for the future? My plans are to go to Grand Valley and study psychology. Why psychology? Because the human brain has always interested me, and I've always wanted to see why people act how the way they act. When I was put out of the house during senior year and it was really hard for me to maintain my grades and keep up going to school on a regular and that's one of the most challenging things that's happened. Even though it's a challenge, I'm looking at you and you have all these honor cords uh, around your neck. Can you please tell me with, with, uh, what each one stands for? Um, the red and white one stands for participating in blood, um, blood drives. The yellow one, or the gold one, stands for being in the top 10, and the orange one is just for being a tiger. How will you make Muskegon Heights proud of you? Um, by being a good student and by representing them very well. And like, My favorite memory is being the commentary person for Coronation. It was an amazing experience that night, and it was also a winter dance that night, so it was just amazing. <laughs> Muskegon Heights has so many subjects and so many teachers. What is your favorite one and why? My favorite one is French. And the reason why I love French so much is because my teacher engaged with us, with us all the time. And she always participated in games to help us learn French better. Can you tell me something? Can you say something to me in French? Je suis une chaise, une de chaise du pomme de terre. It means <laughs> I'm a very large potato. I'm pretty sure it's pretty. It's it's kind of rough. I haven't spoke French in almost three months. <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, can you, if you had uh, to put something in a time capsule, what would you put in the time capsule? It would be my playlist that helped, my music playlist that helped me all throughout high school. Victoria Ann Todd, and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights High School Academy. Hello. Hello. What is your name? My name is Tanaja Breha. What are your future plans, Tanaja? My future plans is to attend Muskegon Community College. Can you tell me, Tanaja, what has been your most challenging or difficult issues in your life? My most challenging is growing up without a mother. How will you make Muskegon Heights proud? Being successful in life. Tell me, Tanasia, what is your one high school memory out of everything? Having a 4.0 GPA. I am a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights High School Academy. Good morning. Good morning. Can you please tell me your full name? Ryan D. Lance Henderson. Ryan, that's a beautiful name. Ryan, can you tell me what are your future plans after you graduate from Muskegon Heights High School? My future plan is to attend MCC for two years, then transfer to Wayne State. University. And why will you transfer to Wayne State? To become an engineer. Very good. Uh, high school can be so challenging. There's a lot of obstacles that you have to get over. Can you tell me some of the obstacles that you had to get over? <laughs> and knowing people. And why is that? Because I get mad fast and they, and they be irritating me. <laughs> can you just give me some of the memories that you will always have, uh, always cherish? Um, being a part of being a part of the school, becoming a tiger, joining the football team, getting to meet all the teachers, and becoming close to them. Very good. Um, Muskegon Heights have a lot of subjects, a lot of teachers. Who are some of the teachers or the people in the school that influenced you? Mr. Warsaw. And what about Mr. Warsaw? 
He's always been there for me. He helped me. He helped me a lot. Made sure I was done my work. Made sure I turned it in on time. Always checking up on me. Very good. Yeah. Now you were a part of the football team. What about your coaches? Coach Jimmy, Coach, Coach Purnell, Coach, I mean Coach Purnell, and Coach Brown, Coach Zoe, all of them helped me. Ryan DeLance Henderson, and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights High School Academy. Hello. Hello. Can you please tell me your name? Keyshawn Hopkins. Keyshawn, can you tell me after you graduate from high school, what do you plan on doing? I plan on becoming a video producer. Out of the most challenging and difficult obstacles you had to come through, can you tell me one of them? Having felt like I didn't have motivation. You have a lot of memories of Muskegon Heights High School. What is one of your favorite memories? Being with my friends, uh, they, they was like motivation too. They helped me keep going. Uh, Keyshawn Hopkins, and I'm a proud graduate at Muskegon Heights High School Academy. Okay. Hello. Hello. What is your name? My name is Damaya Ishe Wallace. Hi, Damaya. Can you tell me what are your future plans after you graduate from my future plan is to attend, attend MCC, to go into the medical field, and to go off to Atlanta to join the HBCU to go into sports medicine. When I go off to college, I plan on coming back to Muskegon Heights High School to tell the youth what I went through and tell them to keep striving and don't give up in school and stay focused. Very good. Can you tell me, out of all the things that you've gone through, what has been your most challenging or difficult obstacle to overcome. Stay in focus in school after losing a great cousin. My name is Demaya Ishe Wallace and I'm a proud graduate at Muskegon Heights High School Academy. Uh, my name is Darian Williams. Are you in sports? Yeah, football. Yeah, football. And basketball. And basketball. Who are your coaches? Coach Parker and Coach Stewart. Were they hard on you? Yeah. But did it make you play good? Yeah. Yes, okay, good. What's your football name? One football memory. Uh, got my first tackle. Your first tackle. What was that like? It was easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Did you knock him out? I think, yeah. <laughs> my name is Darion Williams, and I am a proud graduate of Muskegon High School Academy. Good morning. Good morning. Can you please tell me your full name? My name is Anthony Jaquan Bailey. Anthony, it's so pleased to meet you. I'm so pleased to meet you. Anthony, after you graduate from Muskegon Heights High School, what are your future plans? Well, my goal is to go to Grand Valley and to study law and become a lawyer. Very good. Uh, high school has so many challenges, or e even in life, there are so many challenges. Can you tell me some of the challenges that you've had that you had to overcome? Yeah, one of my biggest challenges was staying focused in school. It was a lot of distractions, you know, people, a lot of people that was, you know, but I ain't gonna get on that, but yeah. It was basically a lot of distractions, but I had to get through it, you know. Very good. Um, how would you make Muskegon Heights proud of you? Uh, I'll make them proud by living up to my, my destiny, saying, well, by me, meaning I'm gonna become a lawyer, you know, do everything I said I was gonna do to make them proud. In high school, what is your favorite memory, your favorite memory of anything in high school? My favorite men memory is playing with my friends in the gym <laughs> and being around them, yeah. Very good. Muskegon Heights has a lot of teachers. They have a lot of subjects. What, has, what was one of your favorite subjects or your favorite teachers to help you get where you are today? My favorite subject was English. And my favorite teacher was Mr. Garland. He basically pushed me to be a better man and to be the man I am today. If you had to put everything in a time capsule and 20 years from now you dug all of that up, what would be in your time capsule? Uh, my time capsule mostly have music, pictures, and my hobbies that I love to do. When you first came in here, I saw a picture on your shirt and you said you had made that picture. What, what was on that picture, and who is that person on, on the picture on your shirt? Uh, it's my grandmother. She basically the reason I'm here. I mean, I don't think I would have been, I don't think I would have graduated without her, you know. I promised her that I was going to graduate, and it's just hurt that she couldn't be here to see me. 
My name is Anthony Jaquan Bailey, and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights Academy. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can you tell me your name, please? My name is Alexis Jade Lambert. Hi, Alexis. Can you tell me, after graduation from Muskegon Heights High School, what are your future plans? I plan on going to Ohio Technical College for welding. Oh, uh, welding, man. That's for a woman. Why would you want to go into welding? Well, they make a lot of money, <laughs> so. Well, before school, we would always sit by our lockers, and me and my friends, we would always have the most amazing conversations at our lockers. Like, I think that is like all of the memories that I can think of. Alexis, if you had to put something in a time capsule for memories, tell me what you would put in the time capsule. I have videos of us going on our exploratories, and it's like we go on field trips. And I have so many videos of us all, the whole school, just having so much fun. And I feel like that that's what I would put in the time capsule. My name is Alexis Jade Lambert, and I am a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights Academy. Hello. Hello. Can you please tell me your name? My name is David O. Wallace. Hi, David. Can you please tell me, after you graduate from Muskegon Heights High School, what do you plan on doing with your life? I plan on going to MTI Prep in Florida and becoming a barber. Tell me what was the most difficult for you? My difficulty was reading in public. I couldn't do it, but now I can. Good. Um, how will Muskegon Heights remember you? Mm. And how, Muske how will you make them proud? I'll go down and give it my best and do it my all. Very good. Uh, out of all the memories and all the things that happened during school, tell me one of your most favorite memories. One of my most favorite memories is when we had a food fight for one of the stars that died on the basketball team. Why did y'all have a food fight? Because that's what he wanted to do. <laughs> Again? My name is David Earl Wallace, and I'm a proud student of Muskegon Heights. I'm a, okay. I got to do it again. <laughs> Tell me your name again, please. My name is David Earl Wallace, and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights High School Academy. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm okay. Will you miss being in high school? Yes. What will you miss about high school? Everything. What about your friends? Yes. You'll miss your friends? Yes. Congratulations. State your full name. My name is Moje Corbell Barnes. Moje, after graduation from the Stephen Heights High School, can you please tell me, tell me what are your plans? My plans to attend Wayne State University computer engineering, and a business owner. Very good. Most seniors have challenges doing, uh, especially their senior year, but all through high school. Can you tell me some of your challenges and how you got over that? Stay, try to stay focused, remain focused. I got over it. When I knew it was time to graduate, I just got back on my stuff and Very kept good. going. Who helped you get back on your stuff? My teacher, Swanson. He always kept me in class. And Ms. Johnson, she stayed with me. English, history, math, and French. How would you make Muskegon Heights proud of you? By attending Wayne State University, going to college, and just keep going. So would you ever come back to the community to help the community? Yes. Give me one, just, uh, just a fun time that you had that you will never forget for the rest of your life. When it was time to plan for graduation, I was excited to hear that I was going to graduate, and we did a, did a lot of stuff for projects and stuff like that. My name is Mojay Corbell Barnes. And I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights Academy. Good morning. Good morning. Can you please tell me your full name? My name is Shantila Tiasha Day. That is such a beautiful name, Shantila. Can you please tell me after graduation, what are your goals? After graduation, my goals are to go to MCC or Ferris State to become a veterinarian. Because I love animals and I got a passion for them, so I just want to take care of them. <laughs> Good answer. How will you make Muskegon Heights proud of you? By fulfilling my goals and going to college. Very good. Do you have a, a high school memory? I know there's a lot of them, but one favorite memory that you have about high school? Yes, my favorite high school memory was our pep assembly 
this last year. And why is that? Because every like all the seniors and everybody had a good time. We just made it a good time. What would be in your time capsule? I would put my goals in my time capsule and everything that I've accomplished. So nothing but higher things. My name is Shanti Lutiasha Day, and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights High School Academy. <laughs> so you won't mess up, okay? Hello. Hello. Can you please tell me your full name? My name is Javante Deshaun Villarreal. Javante, after you leave high school, can you please tell me some of your plans? I would like to attend MCC to further my education. Very good. We have a lot of challenges, and what are some of the obstacles that you had to go come through? Reading, but I pushed myself because I had an interest in reptiles. Very good. Uh, I see that uh, you have an honor cord around you. Uh -huh. Can you just kind of explain to us what that blue and black cord means? It's from JMG. We learned it about um, furthering our education and working with outside of the school life. One of your favorite memories in high school, tell me what it was about coordination because I learned new things and I got to do stuff I never did before. And what was that? I got to dance and I was nominated for Duke. Very good. Um, if you had a time capsule or put all your memories in a bottle and somebody dug it up 20 years later, what would be in your time capsule? Mm, I have two. One was in coordination when I did the moonwalk and it was one when I played basketball and I got crossed and I made the whole audience, the whole bleachers laugh. It was a funny moment. My name is Javante Deshaun Villarreal and I am a graduate from Muskegon Hikes Academy. Good morning. Good morning. Can I have your full name, please? My name is Nakaya Kiera Lay. Nakaya, oh, such a pretty name. Can you please tell me what are your future plans after you graduate from Muskegon? My future plans after graduating is to attend Muskegon Community College to become a journalist. You like to become a journalist? Yes. That's wonderful. Can you please tell me any challenges that you've gone through that you've had to overcome? One of the challenges that I've gone through was not being able to have my mother right by my side all through my four years of high school and losing a cousin at a young age. I overcame that by still keeping my head up and doing what I have to do to make them proud of me. Muskegon Heights High School would be proud of me because I did a film on the tailgate last year. And in that film, a lot of people, they gave their opinion on Muskegon Heights and how we came together and how we do stuff. If people was to see that video, I think they would, it would change their perspective on how they see Muskegon Hikes Academy. One of my favorite memories is the pep rallies because like competing with different classes over a dance battle was like our favorite thing to do. Can you give me an example of those that help you to get where you are today? One of the examples is no teacher ever gave up. Even when we gave up on ourselves, none of them gave up on us. Even if it was just a test that we had to take, they wouldn't let you give up. They'll push you and help you even after school, sometimes before school. So I think that's like one of the main things that helped me out too. And you dug that time capsule up 20 years from now. What would be in your time capsule? It would be my volleyball jersey. And why is that? Because that was the first goal I ever completed, stepping foot into this high school. My freshman year, I didn't think I would stay on the volleyball team. Like, I finished and I kept going. So if I could do that, anything else I can keep doing. My name is Nakaya Kiera Lay, and I am a proud graduate of Muskegon Hikes Academy. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Can you please give me your full name? Yes, my name is Darrell Trayvon Robinson. How 
Hi, Darrell. Pleased to meet you. Can you tell me, after you graduate from Muskegon Heights High School, what are your future plans? Uh, my future plans is to become a pro athlete, football player, and with hopes of becoming an engineer one day. What school will you be attending? I will be attending MTI Prep in Florida. Can you tell me one of your challenges and how you got over it? Yeah, um, I have plenty of challenges, and like God just told me, never give up. Just, just keep pushing. Take one day at a time. So I just got through it. One day, I'll just live a legacy with um, in a pro, in a lead, and just come back and just bring all my memories back, the things I've been through to get to where I was going and head. Very good. Who was there to really inspire you, to help you to just get where you are now? Uh, I want to say Mr. Jones, the principal, um, Ms. Garcia, superintendent. Um, like mostly all everybody in the school, it was good vibes. Everybody stayed on everybody, made sure everybody go to class, and made sure everybody do what they gotta do. So everybody just came together. Yes, my name is Darrell Trayvon Robinson, and I'm a proud graduate at Muskegon Hikes Hikes Academy. Hello. Hi. Can you please tell me your full name? My name is Skylar Littry Smith. Hi, Skylar. Can you please tell me after graduation? What are your future plans? I plan on going to Ferris for music and entertainment, and I want to be able to become a certified music producer. Very good. Uh, have you had any challenges while you've been in school? Yes, math. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not my favorite. That's not your favorite? Yes. Uh, how would you want Muskegon Heights to remember you or to be proud of you? Just for them, <laughs> man, just for them to like, really believe in me and to see that I'm going to stick to my word and I'm going to go to college and finish what I got to do and get certified. Very good. Um, Muskegon Heights have so many memories when you're, when you're in high school. What, are, what is one of your favorite memories? My favorite is when we get to pick the trips, like where we want to go, like what colleges we want to see, what museums. It's just fun when we do that. My name is Skylin Latree Smith and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights High School. Hello. Hey everybody, my name is D'Angelo Hollins, Jr. Hi, D'Angelo Hollins, Jr. Can you please tell me your future plans after you graduate from Muskegon Heights High School? To go to MTI Prep Football Stadium and play football. Can you tell me what has been your most challenging or difficult um, obstacles that you had to overcome? SATs, because it was kind of hard, and you know I had to study and practice every day for it just to pass. But I got through it. Very good. Uh, how will you make Muskegon Heights proud of you? To finish, to finish off, and go on playing with my goals, and go to play um, pro football. Do you think you would ever come back to Muskegon to live? It depends. Okay. Well, maybe with, with, with playing football, would you think maybe you could come back to coach? Yeah, I could come back to coach or, you know, help this school out. Very good. Um, out of all your memories of Muskegon Heights High School, what is your favorite memory? Homecoming. Why homecoming? Because you can, we had dances, you know, we had a uh, homecoming football game, a lot of fans. It was amazing. I am D'Angelo Hollins, a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights Heights Academy. I'm over here shaking hot. Hi, Serenity. Hi, everyone. Can I have your full name? Serenity Mosty Giles. And you're graduating from? Muskegon Heights High School Academy. What do you most like about high school? It's like meeting new people and learning and stuff. What are your future plans after you graduate? Going to college. What would you like to do in college? Like writing or like play basketball for a women's basketball team. Uh, you know what's happening in the world with this pandemic. What do you think about it? I don't like it because you got to stay inside and you can't do anything anymore like going to school and stuff like that and learn. 
how has this um, how has this changed you in your future plans? I feel pretty different. Pretty distant. Mm -hmm. From what? Like from how the people like from the coronavirus and stuff. And like you don't feel the same no more because you haven't been in school in a while. Because it feels like really different. Um, what will you most miss about high school? Um, the, the teachers, the students, and the classroom. If there's one thing you want to tell everybody about you, what would you say about you? I'm going to say I will miss everyone and just help everyone have a great year of the rest of the school year from Muskegon Heights High School Academy. I am a proud to graduate from Muskegon Heights High School Academy. Hello. Hello. Can you please state your full name? My name is Jaden Andreas Williams. Hi, Jaden. Can you please tell me your future plans after you graduate from Muskegon Heights High School? My future plans is to attempt MTR prep and to continue my football career and transfer to D1 college. Very good. What, are, what have been some of your most challenging obstacles that you had to come through? One of the challenging obstacles I had was when my, my, my mother died and the way I overcame it was being able to be around everybody more and them helping me. How will Muskegon Heights remember you and how can you make them proud? They, remember, they will remember me as being one of the kids who helped the little kids become who they will be later on in life. And the way they'll be proud of me is by me become, coming back after I do everything I did and helping them become successful. Can you just tell me something about the teachers and the subjects and what, and what they put into you? The teachers, they helped me more. Like They put in a lot because after my auntie died, everything, like I just didn't want to do nothing. But they helped me, like my grades and everything, they helped me bring it up. My name is Jaden Andreas Williams, and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights High School Academy. Hello. Hi. Can you give me your full name, please? My name is Tanasia Cheyenne Hill. What are your future plans? My plan is to attend Ferris State University and go into the nursing field to get my four-year degree. Can you tell me some of the challenges that you faced but you were able to overcome? I had a lot of different challenges. Um, I just had a moment where it was a family member that I lost and I just wanted to give up, but I just had to overcome it because I got bigger stuff to do. So I'm first generation everything, first generation graduate, prom, college, everything. And mom, we just sat down and talked. She was like, I never got to experience that. And I just felt like I had to do it for her because she didn't get the chance to do it. So I'm number four in top 10, so I'm an honor student. Tell me something about the blue cord you're wearing. My blue cord is for JMG, which is Jobs for Michigan Graduate. It's a class that is it's like a resource class, basically. It helps you put your life on track. It tells you about jobs. It helps you get to colleges. It takes you on interviews. It gets you basically prepared for life after high school. And how much can you do to make Muskegon Heights proud to remember you? Well, I can graduate and go to college and stay on the path that I am and just graduate college. Who was so instrumental in helping you to maintain, to focus, making sure that you stay focused on your goals? Okay, I have two. So my French teacher, which is her name is Amanda Lee, and my JMG teacher, which is Shamika Johnson, they just pushed me. They told me, don't give up. It's so many stuff that you can overcome. So just push and it's, it gets easier. What would be in your time? I will put a picture from my freshman year because freshman year, I would say, was one of the hardest years. It was just like, I got distracted with so many things. And I look back now, like, it was silly to get distracted by so many things because I look at myself now and I, I graduated. If you had one memory that you would remember for the rest of your life going to Muskegon Heights High School, what would be that memory? It would definitely, our coordination that we just did, it was just something to remember. It's, it was a first time thing for me, so it was like, this is something totally different. It was like dancing, the music was totally different. All the people was different. It was just something to experience. My name is Tanasia Cheyenne Hill, and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Hikes Academy. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Can you please tell me your full name? Hi, my name is Araya Elise Lachey Williams. What are your plans after graduation? 
I plan to go to MCC for two years to get my associates and then transfer to Ferris State University to finish getting my master's. What has been some of your challenges since you've been in high school? It was definitely keeping my grades up. You know, it's a lot of distractions in and out of school, and keeping my grades up was the most important to be where I am to now, like Valley Victoria. If there was one memory that you had hold so dear, what would it be of all, of all, all the things that's happened in school? It would definitely be our 2020 PEP Assembly this year. And why is that? We had a lot of fun. It took a, lot, a long time doing the choreography, but we did it, and it turned out great. How has this impacted you? Um, corona did, the coronavirus really did cancel a lot of things, like my birthday, our senior prank, our senior breakfast. It's not like, I mean, we're still doing some of that stuff, but it's not like how it would be if the coronavirus didn't happen. But we're making it do. Who impacted you the most while you were here at Muskegon High School? It would definitely be like two people, Miss Johnson, and Miss Madam Lee, they helped me through my whole high school, basically. And I just want to thank them, yeah. What would be your time capsule? It'll definitely be my 2020 um, tassel because um, we're the best, you know. And a stick of gum because we don't know what's their predicament <laughs> in the next 20 years, so. <laughs> my name is Araya Williams, and I'm a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights High School Academy. Hello. Hi. Can you please state your full name? My name is Julia Alexe Star Wilburn. Julia, can you please tell me that what's going to happen to you? What are your plans after graduating from the Skating Heights High School? My plans at the high school is to join a college called Nuvo to get my license for cosmetology and to attend Ferris State University to go to school for medicine. Can you tell me some of the obstacles that were before you and how you got over them? Some of the obstacles I've had was really basically being in everything. So me being a particip participating in every single sport and every little group, all of that, basically managing time. That was one of my big ones. So that's really one big thing for me. How did you get over that? How, how did you manage it? Um, I basically looked up to people. I basically looked up to teachers or uh, my grandma, her passing, and my my friend that passed the way that got killed later on. I just basically look at them and just was like, I can do it. If I can't do it for myself, I can do it for them. This coronavirus has really uh, been challenging, mm -hmm. and it has a lot of events that were planned will no longer be planned. And by you being a senior, I know that your parents are so proud of you, and there was so many uh, plans, so much they had yeah. planned for you. How are you dealing with this? Um, at first it got a little bit frustrating, but then again, I thought to myself, like, you can push through it. You still gonna celebrate, you still gonna get your diploma, and you still gonna, you gonna make it. You'll be okay. <laughs> well, I really, really appreciate my mom, because she, she's doing a lot for me to be her last child to graduate, and I didn't step out my comfort zone to actually go there. And she, she's really proud, and I'm, I'm glad she actually brought me here into this world. And i like to thank my granny, my grandma, uh, my sweet Aries. <laughs> i like to thank her because even if she's gone, I'm still going to think of her as, she, as if she's here. And another person is Derek Peterson, my, my first love, my, my everything. <laughs> My heart, my backbone, uh, them, them three is the main ones that really pushed me to get to this point. And it's, it's not going to stop here. This is only the beginning. What would be your one memory? My one mem memory would really be coronation. Okay. It would be actually getting that crown set on my head. Like, it would be that robe getting put around my neck. It just, it would be that. And soon, it'll be graduation, as soon as I walk the stage. Oh, right. <laughs> That's wonderful. And if you had one thing to put in that time capsule that you would dig up 20 years from now, what would that one thing be? What I would dig up? I would put my crown in that box, <laughs> and I would put my National Honor Society Award up in there, and the key to being the president of my class, I will put that all up in there and dig it up. Hi, my name is Julia Alexe Star Wilburn. I am a proud graduate of Muskegon Hikes High 
Academy School. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing all right. Can I have your full name, please? Amon LaDaren Sanders. Amon, what are your future plans after you graduate from East Green Heights High School? My future plans is to be, was to become a doctor. But after my drowning incident, it took part of that, of me being in school. And now my plan is to become going to cosmetology, to cosmetology school at Nuvo. Very good. Well, what happened with the drowning, I was, later on in my life, I was, um, I was the type of kid to, you know, just play a lot. I don't, you know, I was in the pool and um, I was at, uh, no kids wasn't playing with me. No kids wasn't playing with me. And I was on the uh, deep side by myself. And then, you know, my brother was trying to save me because he seen me, he seen me drowning. And he seen me drowning. And he, um, the guard, went, the uh, lifeguard wasn't letting him. And then that's when I was sinking down and I was in uh, at the bottom. most challenging things was people telling me, you know, people telling me that I wasn't going to make it, people telling me that I wasn't going to make it out of school, but I was that type of kid, you know. I grew up in the house where, you know, you got to, you know, read books. You got to, you're going to read books before you even try to play, you know. You're going to read books before you even, you know, do anything, get any free time. What gave you that, what gave you that push to keep going? See, I've had, I've had elders and that's what that's what kept me going because they've passed away long longer in my life, which was my grandfather, Willie James Sanders, and he kept me going, you know, kept me kept me striving and kept me going because you know I knew later on in life he'll be proud of me, you know, seeing me doing this and seeing me seeing his grandson graduate high school. Very good, that's awesome. Um, you have a lot of memories in high school. Give me some of the memories. I remember my first high school because I always looked up to my brother because he was Prince in high school because coronation. I looked up to my brother Aaron Kenan and um, I looked up to him and then because he was Prince, he was Prince in the coronation and then I wanted to be like that and I wanted to dance because I always had dance moves and you know I wanted to be coron in coronation that's when I, I think I was, I think I was Mr. Sophomore, sophomore, and then you know that was my first time, and I just felt the joy into it, and I just felt the out the rage into it. Good. So you was Mr. Sophomore, and was you Mr. Junior? And Mr. Junior? Yes, but I I tried to get Mr. Senior, but I just left that alone because I knew that I was gonna get ready to leave. You know, I'm getting ready to graduate. That's good. That's yes, ma'am. Tell me about your favorite subjects or your favorite teachers in school. Mr. Satterfield was a great man. He he was like another role model in my life. Another role model in my life. He kept me going. You know, if I get if I got something wrong with my work, you know, he'll say, No, you can't. You can't leave. You can't leave yet. You know, you can't leave. And he made a lot of sense. Don't don't don't. Don't listen to people who who say that they um, that you're not gonna make it in life. You doing what you have to do right now to make you make a per make you the person that you are right now today. And I see now as I wear as I'm wearing this cap and gown, I see that I'm going to achieve things in life. Very good. If you had a time capsule to put all of your memories in a time capsule, and 20 years later somebody dug that time capsule up, what would they find in your time capsule? Mm, as of right now, graduation pictures, um, my achievement awards, um, um, old uh, emblems, Muskegon Heights uh, High School emblems, and um, just pictures, just pictures to keep me keep a person going and keep them, you know, encouraged. Very good. Um, so again, please tell me your name. I'm Maya LaDaren Sanders, and I am a proud graduate of Muskegon Heights Academy High School. At this time, if Mr. Glover would come to the podium, please.
Julia Wilburn is the daughter of Maria and Willie Wilburn. She is a member of the National Honor Society, French Club, and Spirit Club. She participated in basketball, volleyball, and track. She is the band majorette and the class of 2020 queen. Julia has participated in cosmetology courses through the Career Tech Center, attending Nouveau, where she plans to get her cosmetology license. Julia plans to attend Ferris State University in the fall to pursue a pre-med degree. Her favorite memory was participating in the coronation and be, being crowned queen. It is my deep honor on behalf of the Muskegon Heights Board of Education and the Muskegon Heights Academy to present to you your 2020 salutatorian, Miss Julia Wilbur. Please come forward. I am Julia Wilburn, Muskegon Heights, 2020 homecoming queen, everything else, we ain't gonna talk about that. But I am the salutatorian and basically, I just wanna tell my story, basically of what high school was. High school, it was a journey, but I made it, I made, I made it through to the point we all had rocky starts beyond but I wish I could be looking at my granny right here because she the reason why I did it she the reason why I pushed myself to make it out to do more to she the reason why I pushed myself to step over every obstacle I didn't I didn't had but I made it. I didn't have a whole bunch of struggles, but we all did it. And I encourage all of y'all to whatever y'all do, whatever y'all just plan to do, just, just go for it, even if it's hard. Just, just push yourself even more. You're gonna have ups and downs. You're gonna, you're gonna make it regardless. I know this, I don't make sense probably, but uh, this whole uh, coronavirus stuff, it did throw me off. It threw me off a lot, but. Vice President of the Muskegon Heights Board of Education Academy uh, to present the valedictorian. But just before I start with the presentation, I would like her parents to stand, Mr. and Mrs. Denard Williams. We want to recognize you as her first teachers and you did a good job. Thank you. Okay. Uh, to our precious one here. She's um, <laughs> the valedictorian. That means she worked hard. Uh, she was a member of the basketball team, cheerleading, volleyball. Um, she was in the spirit club, the French club, band, and was the duchess of the coordination ball. She's been very busy. Now, she was actually in the Honor Society, and congratulations for that, sweetheart. All right. <laughs> she wants to be a social worker and attend Ferris State University. Her fav favorite quote is, 
if you reach, if you set your goals ridiculously high and it's a failure, you will fail above everyone else's success. And keep your head up, do the best you can, and we're proud of you, okay? of the community. My name is Araya Williams and I'm a valid Victorian of class 2020. Today we're celebrating a class full of doctors, lawyers, producers, beauticians, and social workers. The last couple of years have not been what we expected. We had our laughs, we had our fights, we had our ups and our downs, but today we came together and celebrate our accomplishments. High school is not what we expected to be. I thought high school was going to be like high school musical, full of fun, laughs, and a lot of friends. But walking through the doors our freshman year, reality hit us. It was no longer a high school musical for us. High school was hard. We faced challenges and we faced losses that pushed us further towards success and also pushed us to be the people we are today and the people we will be become. We are in a part of our lives that is, is important, a part that determines if we sink or swim. It, it, we are the future and the coronavirus is not gonna stop us from being who we are meant to be or to become. We worked hard to get here, so why let anything ruin our future? Why let things be being different make us wanna give up? Yes, the coronavirus made things different. It caused us to not fully have our senior year, but that does not mean we give up. Different doesn't mean impossible. Instead of focusing on what we missed out on, stay focused on making a difference. Doing things people wouldn't do. We already proven that by being here today. Not many people can say that they stop going to school in person, then switch to online classes, continue working a job, and graduate at the top of their class, but I'm proof. I'm proof that it can be done. We are proof that we are, are resilient and this resistance will not guide us to be, will guide us into being a successful future. Congratulations, Muskegon Heights Academy, class of 2020. I acknowledge and, and thank uh, the board, faculty and staff of Muskegon Heights Public Academy. And above all, I thank you for the invitation class of 2020. I want to share a couple of thoughts with you uh, very quickly uh, about these challenges that we face here in 2020. I want you to appreciate, young people, that within every challenge you face, at the end of the hardest road you may travel, on the other side of every obstacle you encounter, there is to be found opportunity. Don't forget that. The most difficult things you go through create the chance for you to grasp and be successful through an opportunity. As you go through that, I want you to notice that I used the phrase there is to be found an opportunity. I, I say that because opportunity doesn't come looking for you. Opportunity does not seek you out. Opportunity is not waiting somewhere to find you. You have to be aware. You have to keep your eyes open. You got to pay attention every step of the way that you go. And here's the real deal. You have to really want the opportunity to excel, to achieve, and to succeed. If I can put it in terms that I've heard young people use, you got to stay woke. You got to stay about it. You got to be about it in order to achieve that opportunity. Now, I don't know what success means or looks like for each of you, 
but I'm certain that success is not going to come looking for you. You have to go find it and you have to make it part of your life. In this life, you know, we're, we're not guaranteed anything. In this life, the best you can hope for is an opportunity, a chance to achieve and to prove yourself, to earn and to accumulate those things which are worthy and worthwhile. And you got to bring some things with you when you are looking for that uh, opportunity as you go through these challenges. I'm Renee Garcia, the proud superintendent of Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System. Graduates, along with your family and friends gathered here tonight, I am excited for you and your accomplishments. Although I realize this feels like the end, I promise you it is not. This is the start of a new adventure. As you start this adventure, I encourage you to advocate for yourself. Use your voice, hold your head high, and always demonstrate your pride as a Muskegon Heights Tiger. Aman Ladaren Sanders. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Aman. Please take your tassel and move it to the left. Araya Elise Lachey Williams. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Araya. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Alexis Jade Lambert. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Alexis. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. And you can walk right in front of the speaker. Awesome. All right. Anthony Jaquan Bailey. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty, of Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student 
in witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Anthony. Hold your tassel and move it to the left. Demaya Ishe Wallace. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Demaya. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. David Earl Wallace. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student in witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left, David. Angelo Luan Allens. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on the recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, D'Angelo. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Darrell Trayvon Robinson. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, 
we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Jarrell. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Darion Dwight Williams. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Darian. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Jaden Andres Williams. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this ex extremely bright student in witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Jaden. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Javante Villarreal. Javante, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof we are now award the high school diploma. Javante, please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Jalen Jaquan Duncan Chapman. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Jalen. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Jalea Alize Wilburn. <laughs> 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 
by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Julia. Will you please hold your tassel and move it to the left? Keyshawn Gerard Hopkins. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, I now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Keyshawn. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Moje. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Nakaya Kiara Lay. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Michigan, and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights Public of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Nakaya. Hold your tassel and move it to the left. Ryan D. Lance Henderson. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Michigan and the Board of Education of Muskegon Hikes Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of Muskegon Hikes High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student and witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Ryan. You may move your tassel to the left.
awesome. <laughs> Shantila Tiasha Day. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Congre Congratulations! Congratulations, Chantila. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Skylin Latrice Smith. <laughs> by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof, we now award the high school diploma. Skylin, please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Tanasia Cheyenne Hill. The mic isn't, is the mic on? Testing. There you go. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Tanasia. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Tanasia Bree Hall. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student, in witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. 
Congratulations to Nasia. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Victoria Ann Todd. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Michigan and the Board of Education of Muskegon Heights Public School Academy system, on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student and witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Victoria. Move your tassel from the right to the left. Tyrone David Hardman. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Michigan and the Board of Education of the Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, and on recommendation of the faculty of the Muskegon Heights High School Academy, I hereby confer upon this extremely bright student in witness whereof we now award the high school diploma. Congratulations, Tyrone. Please hold your tassel and move it to the left. Squad! 